guys deluded you know you guys know how much i love youth football and i'm, I'm passionate about our, our youth football our first team scholars collectively um, based on how they are collectively it's our best crop of talent in 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 a few years i've told you that before i've told you about saka i've told you about Oli Inka. let's talk about tyrese john jules He's, he shouldn't be a, he shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that's been paying attention. He made his debut for the under 18s last year. I believe he bagged last year as well. First year scholar, obviously this year. He's he's taller in the in in person than he looks. Like he doesn't look short, but he is taller than he looks. Similar to Joshua Noma when I first saw him. I like him a lot. He can play in the ten. He can play out up front. I like his movement. He drifts in the channels. He makes good runs. He doesn't dilly dilly dally. He makes he makes click quick. Sorry, quick decision making. Quick. You know how you see a lot of young players get caught in two minds, and especially in the final third. He's not one of them. Quick decision making, and he sticks to it. That should serve him well. When he plays in the 10, he loves clipping the ball over the top. I, I mean, against Southampton, he wouldn't stop doing that. And it was evidenced to, and, it's, and it's evident how good his passing range is and his eye for a pass if you keep doing that. And just damn right your confidence. Like, whether he ends up as a striker or a cam or wherever, because a, a lot of these players will not end up in the position they're playing. Who knows? Either way, he is exciting. He's a strong player as well. Decent finisher of chances. The movement, like I said, like, he, he's a player I've got a lot of time for. Like, he looks like... He could he could have a real shot at making it at this club. I don't wanna I don't say these things lightly, and I don't wanna put a thingy on him because at the end of the day it's down to working hard. But I like him a lot, man. I like his hold up play. I like the way he's just proper on stuff. Like he's not on this Mickey Mouse stuff. He's firm in a challenge. He'll fight for every ball. He'll work his socks off. He's he's got good technical qualities. He can bring a ball forward. He's a lovely player, a typical Arsenal player, like I said, man. If you saw his assist versus Reading, it was amazing, man. He's had a couple injuries this year and he's been out of the squad a couple times. So it hasn't been plain, plain sailing, but he's managed to make three appearances, bagging two goals. Two against Southampton, one against Reading. And, he, and like I said, he got an assist in that game, which was quite good. 16-17 last year, three appearances, one goal, one assist versus Liverpool. Bearing in mind, he was a schoolboy playing first um, um, under 18s. And I've told you guys before... 15, 16, compared to an 18-year-old, you're physically different from your, your body's development, puberty and all these things. But that's all down to the birth by bias or whatever they used to call it in, in college and all them sort of things. But it's not down to that. Obviously, now, the next immediate steps are to uh, sol um, solidify. Well, he's already solidified himself somewhat in the under-18s. Crack onto the under-23s, get in the starting lineup or the under-bench. Or a rotation option, or just getting their managers, getting the under twenty threes managers um trail of four. Ultimately, the end goal is to get in the first team on a regular basis. Immediately would be some cup a bench on um on the cup on the bench for the cup games, couple minutes in the cup games, things of that nature. It's all about kicking. But he's doing the right things, man. As a teenager, going on to his pro um, promise, most promising and decisive years as a footballer. Certainly, in all his years playing for Arsenal Academy, these are the most decisive years where he's got to nail down a position and all of these sort of things. Going the right way around it. He's doing his thing. There's not really not much more you can say on that. Like I said, good finisher, he's strong, good eye for a pass, decent dribbler, good balance, technical qualities are very good. Makes quick decisions, doesn't dilly dally and 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 confuse himself. It's to put it um, to put it better. Guys, the Ludic Goon, I'm signing out on that note. There's really not much more to be said. Shout out to Ty Tyrese John Jules, to be honest. Get in the comments, subscribe, do the rest of it.